Prince William pulled out of his godfather's memorial service at the last minute due to a personal matter. Now, it's not been revealed whether it's related to his wife's recovery from surgery last month, but the palace confirmed Kate is doing well. William was due to give a reading at the service, held in honour of Greece's King Constantine, and is reported to have called the family to apologise. Queen Camilla stepped in to lead the royals at St George's Chapel at Windsor and hosted a reception afterwards. Well, during the ceremony, she was pictured wiping away a tear in a rare show of emotion. Camilla was joined by Prince Andrew, who, despite being stripped of official duties, can still attend private family events. He was accompanied by his daughters and ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson. The King, who's undergoing cancer treatment, of course, was at Windsor Castle earlier today, but left before the service began. Well, it follows claims from a Greek Orthodox monk that the monarch reached out for spiritual advice after his cancer diagnosis. Obviously, a lot to unpick there. I think there is understandable concern that Prince William didn't turn up to this moral service. Not only was he meant to be you know, paying his respects to his godfather, King Constantine, he was meant to be actually reading a service. That's a considerable thing to pull out of doing at the last minute. And of course, a lot of people saying, is it to do with Kate? Is she not recovering? The bottom line is nobody knows. The, the tight lips coming out of Kensington Palace have been astonishing that nothing has so far leaked about what Kate's surgery was, how she's doing, apart from you know, the endless reassurance of she's doing fine, she's doing fine. We are expecting to see William out and about in a couple of days or well, towards the end of this week. So I think that, you know, if and when that happens, that, that will be reassuring. On the King, I think completely fair enough, obviously, that he didn't go to this service. We now think we know that he has his regular treatment. At the beginning of the week, he leaves Windsor or, or Norfolk, comes to London for his treatment and then goes back to the country yeah. to recuperate. So I think that, that, that's absolutely mm -hmm. fine. And also, finally, I mean, poor old Camilla. She really is doing her bit at yeah. the minute, She's stepping up she? to the plate. She this really is, is. I, I'm sorry, this is suspicious. It's deeply suspicious. He should have been there. He was on the order of the service. Uh, if that had not been the case, they could have cancelled that if they'd had notice. It was clearly very last minute. We know it's not to do with the King because Camilla was there. Uh, they've given a statement saying uh, that Kate is fine. She's all right. Uh, it's not because he's got a sore throat, because if he had a sore throat or, you know, had a bit of a headache, they'd just get somebody else to read the thing he was going to read and he would still go. Um, and we are short of royals. It's, it's, you know, how many more can go down? Um, it, yeah. Because we are now, we started off with, you know, unfortunately, and these are all, you know, nobody wants to hear the story of the king, you know, getting ill. He's got cancer. We know that uh, Kate had some serious surgery. And now William, so there's none left. I mean, who else? Yeah, they'll yeah. be calling on Prince Andrew soon. <laughs> they'll be calling on you soon. To attend to everything. Goodness they'll be man. calling on you. I'm up for it. Give me Listen, a crown. I'm anybody. <laughs> believe me. I, I think the time's deeply suspicious. It's isn't deeply it? suspicious, Emma. It's a little bit, it's a little bit clumsy. Can you imagine? To the, quote the, Lee imagine Anderson. the Queen and the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Edinburgh all being, you know, all being okay. out of action at the same time. Yeah, yeah but the Queen happened. isn't out of action. Hold, hold on a minute. Happened. No, the old Queen. Yes, I know. But to say it's deeply suspicious is just nonsense. It's You're deeply just suspicious. Rabble -rousing. Ian, Ian, You're we just all... rabble-rousing. Let, 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 let me finish We all have tummies. We all have, tummies? you know, dodgy migraines. We all have bowels. We all have issues. Maybe he's got a running diarrhea. I mean, I don't want to speculate about the future king. But really, he could just no, be you're feeling rotten. You've got me for rotten. speculation, and you've put him on. <laughs> you've, just, you've put him on diaper alert. I've, I've put him on emodium. <laughs> but, 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 no, but the term "deeply suspicious" is a million miles from having diarrhoea. This is a weird Sorry. <laughs> Last minute, he pulled somebody very close to him. He's feeling somebody... really rotten or something. Well, they I could mean... have just said he's not feeling very well. Yeah. For personal reasons. Much personal for personal matters. reasons. Well, personal Sorry, matters. suspicious. Watch all... this space. Will he be there at the end of the week at the next engagement? Emma, what you're saying? Well, no, I was going to say, I think he's probably got a dodgy tummy. It could, okay. it could be or one something. of the children. It, it could be a million different things. But a dog, it is, a but, child. But, but it's, it, was at Win, it was in Windsor, it was in his backyard. Yeah. He could have gone, read the thing for five minutes and, and exited. That could have happened. He, it was his godfather. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't just some state thing he had to attend. It was someone who had, had helped raise him, someone he looked up to, his godfather. He missed it for that. Um, I agree with Collins. There is something deeply, deeply well, suspicious about it. I, I think terms. that before <laughs> one judges as to whether it's deeply suspicious or otherwise, one needs to know what it is. And if <laughs> the royals decide not to tell us, uh, then so be it. But I think the more important story here is about, well, who does the roles when people are either ill or off games? And Camilla, obviously, Queen, 
stepped up, did the job brilliantly. But it shows also that Andrew is never going to be eradicated from our lives because of the personal connections and things that he will turn up at anything if he can. Yeah. Um, and also it seems as if Sarah Ferguson is back doing sort of like royal things within the royal fold. So, look, I, I think there are other people who can do the jobs. I, I think much as we slash everybody loves to speculate, and I'd love the palace to be a little bit more open with what and why, um, Perhaps we should wait and hear yeah. what it is before Deep we... I mean, I'm ba ba basing it on absolutely nothing. I just do wonder if it's something to do with the kids. Because if one of the kids is sick, like, you know, I'm not saying they're dangerously sick, but, but sick enough to really need a parent, and Kate's not really available because she can't lift a child up because she's still... Well, do they whatever. see their kids? I mean, they've got yeah. nannies and stuff. I yeah. mean, they are quite devoted Every parents. couple of months they probably see them. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what's the deal there? I say, I say, say the child, kids, child one of the kids dog, is, we're not speculating. Child, we're not speculating, dog no. or diarrhoea. The one of the kids has got croup, you know, that's all you have to say, because yeah. that covers all bases as a parent. It's not suspicious. Deeply. <laughs>